Hello everybody and welcome back for some more Pokemon Emerald Randomizer thingy. So yeah, in the last episode we got our first Pokemon Nidoran, we battled May, then we caught a Scyther, we ran into an Entei randomly, but today we're gonna continue our journey onto Route 102. And if you guys are enjoying this series, you should totally drop me a thumbs up and a like. I am having fun with this pretty so far, especially seeing just the random ass Pokemon that these people have. If you have a Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. So yeah, now this is going to actually be our first battle with a trainer that isn't May. So like i definitely do not know what any of these guys has as pokemon this guy has a chikorita which actually seems pretty standard for a first route so let's go ahead and i guess i'll use some shadow punch because we should be able to knock him out pretty easily chikorita used vice grip which luckily it did not do too much to us and i totally forgot to respond to that text message that i got in the first episode oh well it was my mother too, so don't worry mom, I will write you back a little later. Arg, I lost. I should have trained mine more. John got 80 for winning. So I'm gonna go ahead to, and I'm just gonna quickly switch over to Scyther, cause I kinda wanna make sure that these guys get evenly trained, so that this way it's not just like one Pokemon that's dominating my whole party. Haha, <laughs> our ice met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Except the plot twist is he probably does not have any freaking bug Pokemon, although he might, so he has two Pokemon. I'm pretty sure the amount of Pokemon that they have a Dusclops, damn this should be fun, but I'm pretty sure the amount of Pokemon that they have hasn't changed as far as I know. I don't really like Scyther's moveset. Gust. Alright, I don't... Oh shit, that's right, it is super effective. But let's try, I don't know, Crab Hammer, which is typically a move that only like the Crab Pokemon have, but I guess Scyther has it in this universe. That's right, we could actually switch over to Nidorin and she has Shadow Punch, so we'll be able to knock out this level four Dusclops. Hyper Voice. All right, luckily I'm pretty sure that is just a normal attack. And yeah, that was super effective, so we'll go ahead and knock out that Dusclops, and Scyther grew to level 4. And I actually totally forgot to buy the Pokeballs. Let's go ahead and I'll just leave Nidoran in, because I should be able to knock out Rhyhorn without a problem. But I forgot to buy the Pokeballs, which it's okay, because I gotta go ahead to the Poke Center anyway to heal up. I should also buy some potions and things like that, so this way I don't have to run back to the Poke Center as much. But yeah, with that, we went ahead, we defeated Bug Ketcherip. Rick. <laughs> I cannot talk tonight. Ow, down and out. John got 64 for winning. I don't know why I keep reading the amounts of money that I got, because it's supposed to be in like the third person, but whatever. So yeah, let's go ahead, hit up our friend Nurse Joy pretty quickly, and I will show you guys the Poke Mart. They have all the basic use stuff that we need. And then I should talk to some of these like NPCs. I don't really care about the wireless club though. I, that means I don't want to hear about it twice. And yeah, these guys are pretty much telling us how to use the PC, which actually I'm pretty sure we can still get our free potion if we go into the item storage. And that also reminds me too, if I didn't mention it already, the items I believe are randomized as well as the TMs, so we might get a TM that does not make any sense. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hi, I work at the Pokemon Mart. Can I get you to come with me? And yeah, this is a tour of the Pokemon Mart. Obviously, in this game, because some games they look different, some of them are actually in the same building, and that's what I thought. That's why I wanted to talk to him. He was going to give us a free potion. So let's go ahead in and buy some more things. I don't believe you give us anything, so I don't really care. 
So now let's go ahead and I'm gonna just buy some Pokeballs. Probably, I don't want that many. I'm just gonna do 10 and then some potions and we got a primer bowl as well. I don't really think they're that great, but at least it's something extra that we can use. And then I should probably get maybe one, nah, I'm gonna just stick with what I have for now. Because what's interesting too, and I'm going to actually check out my Pokemon really quickly, like we discovered that our Nidoran has the ability, so actually this is cool too, so Scyther has Limber which prevents us from being paralyzed, and then Nidoran has Flame Body which burns the foe on contact, which doesn't really make sense, but you know, randomizer. I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were my own footprints. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. Kind of random too, when I played this game when I was younger, I always thought that that was a woman for some reason, even though when you would run into them as trainers, it was clearly not, but you know, I it, it kind of looked like a lady, and okay, there are Salamence on Route 102. Maybe I'll try to catch one, I don't really know, and I totally just like clicked really quickly and got a critical hit with the crab hammer. So Salamence knows ancient power. That just knocked us out in one hit. So I do have to go back to the freaking health center again. Uh oh. God damn it. Alright, so yeah, I kind of fucked up a little. I don't know how or why, but I hit a button and then everything closed. But it's all good, because luckily I had saved at the end of the last episode. So luckily it's as if nothing is different. Minus, I think some of the levels might be slightly different, because I redid the first two battles. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on to this battle because I totally did not realize that that dude was gonna be right there. So youngster Alan would love to battle and he has a freaking Dratini. I would love to like catch your Dratini so that this way I could have Dragonite someday because Dragonite is a pretty awesome Pokemon. That was almost a one hit KO right there water spout you're like literally peeing everywhere and fire power was weakened which doesn't really matter because i do not have any fire moves it's kind of a weird looking attack it was almost like christmas lights but yeah now youngster alan is going to use bagon so let's go ahead can like everybody stop freaking messaging me when i'm recording it would be really awesome i'm gonna go ahead use some shadow punch we got the one hit KO and I'm totally like overpowered Nidor in here after I was just talking about not doing that, but oh well. <laughs> and then let's go ahead to and pick I'm pretty sure the berries are still the same as far as I know. Yeah, they are the same. So we got the orange berries and then we're gonna catch whatever these are, Petcha berries. So yeah, we got two orange berries and two Petcha berries. Now I'm going to actually go ahead and quickly switch to Scyther because we have one more trainer battle before we get to Petalburg. And it is with this Lass. I'm pretty sure it is Lass Haley. I don't remember why I remembered the name. Although it might not actually be. Yeah, no, it's Lass Tiana. But there is an actual Lass Haley, but it was probably like I used to battle her a lot. So that's why I remember the name. Now, I think Air Cutter should probably be good because Venonat is the bug Pokemon. And damn, we got that critical hit and it is a one hit KO. So hopefully Scyther can gain a level. Sweet. And now Lastiana is going to freaking send out a Regirock. So we should probably switch back to Nidorin because we're going to need some level advantage right here to take on Reggie Rock. I have no idea like how strong this thing is when it's only level 4 but we got Mega Drain so hopefully we should knock it out pretty quickly. About half damage but as long as it does not hit us Teether Dance that does not look right on the freaking Reggie Rock. But 
As long as I can get through this confusion without hurting myself, we should probably get the win here and Regirock should give us a decent amount of experience. Damn it, freaking lasts in your legendary encounters. <laughs> so yeah, we are now at level 12 and we want to learn Safeguard, but I don't really want to learn Safeguard. So yeah, stop trying to learn Safeguard. And we defeated Lasty Anna. And she did not really give us a lot of money. I know it's like the beginning of the game, but y'all should give us some more money. And let's see what this item is. We found a blue shard, so I don't... What can we even do with the blue shard? Not the Pokemon. I want to go ahead and... A shard from an ancient item can be sold cheaply. Oh, that's right. I think we can just like sell the blue shard to get some extra cash, which is always nice because... The more cash we have, the more items we can buy, like Pokeballs and shit. So I'm gonna just heal really quickly. Kind of a random fact to this like lady in the red outfit here. She had a different hair in Ruby and Sapphire, so I don't really know why they were like, we have to change her in this game. But anyway, I'm pretty sure we are supposed to go to the gym and then teach- oh, look, it's our father. Hmm. Well, if it isn't John, so you're all finished moving in, I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, John. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. You're, uh, oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives and birds in turf town i thought i would be lonely by myself so i wanted to take a pokemon along but i've never caught a pokemon before i don't know how hmm i see john you heard that right go with wally and make sure that he safely catches a pokemon here i'll loan you my pokemon wally received the zigzagoon oh wow a pokemon hmm i'll give you a pokeball too go for it Oh wow, thank you. Would you really come with me? So now this should be interesting too because I don't know if the moveset's going to be edited or not. So hopefully it doesn't like break this challenge. I'm pretty sure it won't because he's probably supposed to automatically catch it. Yes, I know how to catch Pokemon. We already caught one ourselves. And instead of the Ralts that this guy would typically catch, it looks like he's gonna actually get a Spinda. And then it's kind of funny too because they did actually change to a Shelter, but it looks like it still has Tackle, Feather Dance. So now, are you gonna actually hit your Tackle this time? There you go. Alright, so Spinda missed with Sacred Fire. Alright, didn't really weaken it, so hopefully it's just still automatically set to catch, because I don't know if it's going to break anything or not if he doesn't catch it, but I'm pretty sure he's going to catch it. Oh, I needed some water. My throat is, like, dry tonight. But it's probably because it's freaking hot in here, because, like, I would open the window, but there's, like, people walking by. I did it! It's my Pokemon! John, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. John, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, John. He can say goodbye to my dad. Now, John, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to the other Pokemon gyms <laughs> and, excuse me, and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, John. But that's only after you become stronger. So I'm pretty sure at the current moment that is about it for Petalburg City. Let me just quickly check. I do have Scyther set, so I'm gonna go ahead and I don't remember if there's really anything that I can gain here. You're- ah, you must be John, right? Thank you for 
playing with Wally a little while ago. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We sent him to stay with my relatives in Bender Turf Town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner than it is here. Wait, that's... where's Wally? He's already left our Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now? So I totally did not even realize that we were going to Wally's parents' house. Wally was really happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. Wait, I'm like confused because the guy was like confused where Wally was, but then it seems like that she knew where he was. Whatever. Alright, yeah, I already checked out the first gym. I'm just talking to people to see if we can get some items possibly. I don't really freaking care that you traveled when you were a kid, and you can travel just to catch a Pokemon. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead into the... Oh, there's one more house here. I never, like, really talked to anybody when I was younger, so I just want to, like, see if anybody will give us some items. But it looks like these people are sad because they battled my dad, but they didn't win. But yeah, now finally, since we finished doing that, let's go ahead and this guy's going to approach us. That's right, and because it's Emerald, like, I played Ruby and Sapphire a lot more than Emerald, so there's like some things like this dude that I don't even really remember. Let me guess, from the way you're dressed, you are a Pokemon trainer. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Well, gee, thanks for being a dick. Anyway, let's go ahead and I think we're going to go into the Petalburg Forest, if I remember correctly. And here is a Paris. I don't think I really want to catch Paris, but I'm probably going to battle it so that this way we can continue to level up our Scyther because I want to try to get her similar to the Nidoran. So we got 40 experience now, we are up to level 5, and I'm pretty sure Scythers have pretty good attack and all of that. So I'm gonna just pick these berries because, you know, we need berries to heal and that kind of thing. That's right too, I never checked to see if either of our Pokemon were holding an item, which they are not, but items that Pokemon hold I'm pretty sure are also pretty random. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Excuse that like squeak I just made there. I was attempting to do a voice for her, but I was just like, nah, I can't right now. Lady Cindy sends out a Cyndaquil. Cindy has a Cyndaquil. Their names match. And we can use freaking Crab Hammer and hopefully knock out Cyndaquil pretty easily. Of course, Cyndaquil still has smoke screen, so that's gonna knock our accuracy down. Which I'm pretty sure Cyndaquil, like, typically has the smoke screen. So it's just like, let's add insult onto injury. And I should probably try something different than Crab Hammer, because I'm pretty sure that it already does not have 100% accuracy. So doing a move that doesn't when you have. 20 freaking smoke screens thrown at you. It's not going to work. And god damn it, he used Blaze Kick, so that just knocked us out in one hit. So let's go ahead and send out our friend Nidorin, and maybe she will take care of the day for us. I'm gonna have you do Mega Drain, because Cyndaquil's kind of fainted anyway. So I know, obviously. Wow. I thought it would have just knocked him out, but. Whatever. We're gonna use another blaze kick and now I am burned. So now, I don't know, shadow punch. Are you kidding me? This bitch has full restores. That's right, these people are supposed to be rich, I believe. The like lady and then the rich kid. So I am of course hurt by my burn. Hopefully maybe this ball will knock him out in one hit. So I'm assuming with the 5 HP, oh that's really lovely. I don't think I'll get knocked out as long as I knock out the Cyndaquil in this next turn. I don't... cool. The Parish Count has fallen to 3. 
Alright, so I think we got this. Yeah, Cyndaquil is knocked out. And Nidorin gained some more experience. And we defeated Sidden. D. And she gave us a decent amount of money for a change, because they typically don't really give us a lot. But I think that is actually going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we will go through the woods and then go to Rustboro City. I'm definitely going to heal up for that. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope y'all have a pretty good day. Bye.